Okay, so let's prove that this language L, which is all the strings of the form 0 to the n, 1, 0 to the n, where n is any number at least 0, is not regular. So here it's kind of like the two halves of the string have to be exactly the same with uh, the one separator in between. So let's suppose that L is regular then by the pumping lemma, there exists a pumping constant uh, P for L. Let's use pink for this. So there exists, I'm just going to shorthand it to P for this language. So then now what we need to do is to pick a string that is of length at least P and in the language. And the trick usually is to substitute this p in for the exponent, which is, and it's going to work in this case too. So uh, this is so. Let's choose w equal to zero to the p one zero to the p. Note that this is in L because I just substituted the p in, and it's length two p plus one, which is definitely at least p, which is good. Okay, so then now we need to look at all decompositions of this string into those three parts. All right, notability crashed. I'll probably have to edit this out later. All right, <laughs> my string went away. So let's, let's choose it again. W equal zero to the P, one, zero to the P. Let's uh, so now we need to look at all the compositions. I'm just going to shorthand the word of W into X, Y, Z, according to the two rules, which are that X, Y has length at most P. So the beginning bit has at most P characters and Y is not empty. So it has at least one character. Well, here, since the first P characters are zeros and the, the first two pieces are of length at most p, so that means that x and y are entirely in this little region here. So we know that x is going to be some number of zeros. I have no idea how many, but it's some number. I'm going to call it alpha, whatever it is. y is going to be some number of zeros. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to call it beta. And we know that beta is at least 1 because um, y is not empty. And Z is the rest of the string. Well, we have P, because that's what we started with, minus alpha minus beta zeros. We started off with P zeros and we took away this, these two. And we have the one separator still there and all of the zeros at the very end still there. So then now what we need to do is to choose an I such that X, Y to the I, Z is not in the language. So let's choose an i such that x, y to the i is z is not in L because uh, the, the pumping lemma says that it's always in L for every i. But if we find one that is not in L, then that contradicts it and contradicts the fact that this thing, we suppose that this thing is regular. Okay, so let's investigate what this string is. x, y to the i is z. Let's just copy and down, copy down the pieces. So we have zero to the alpha, that's the X bit. We have zero to the I beta, that's the Y bit I times. And then the Z bit one time. Oops, <laughs> not Z. Uh, zero to the P minus alpha minus beta one, zero to the P. So here I have a consecutive run of zeros. And this one doesn't count because there's a one separator, but I can combine these ones because they're all zeros. I'm just put the exponents together. So the alphas are going to get killed off. So I'm going to have zero to the P plus I beta minus beta one, the separator, and then zero to the P. Well, the only way that this thing could be in the language at all is if the, the two exponents are identical. So this is an L if and only if these two numbers are the same. So let's write that down. So this is in L if and only if uh, P plus I beta minus beta equals P because those are the two exponents. So this is if and only if I beta minus beta equals uh, zero. 
and this is if and only if uh, uh, i is equal to 1. So if I choose any value other than 1, then we can find that this thing is not in the language. And I will just pick i equal to 2. So choose i equal to 2. And that this is kind of like the 0 to the n, 1 to the n proof. Um, it's structurally a little bit different because we got this separator and it's the same set of characters, but it's identical in the conclusion and how essentially the same in how we were able to show that this thing is not regular by finding a string that is not in the, in the language. Cool. So we have shown that 0 to the n, 1, 0 to the n is not, in, it's not a regular language.